out which was about the arsenic pollution which was the arsenic pollution can you tell me the states where arsenic pollution has caused a lot of turmoil past me it used to be andhra pradesh it used to be Ars andhra pradesh where uh, arsenic pollution used to be a big big issue but recently recently it was found that the most of the arsenic affected habitations they lie in the regions of ganga brahmaputra alluvial plain such as assam bihar west bengal punjab are they not one of the most densely populated states so since this report has come out and it is also uh, uh, given in this report that it has confirmed the presence of arsenic in the food chain so arsenic pollution and related diseases becomes very important for this year's exam so i need to remember arsenic from the point that what are the whenever uh, any report comes on a particular pollutant on a particular pollutant for example there was a report on uh, uh, volatile organic uh, pollutant then there was a report on persistent organic pollutant so there were questions seen in the prelims so since arsenic report is out i should know what are the sources of arsenic pollution what are the effects of arsenic pollution what are the areas where it is all right uh, what are the diseases which are caused and what is the remediation how can i how can i remove arsenic pollution so as i can see that arsenic pollution is generally related to water pollution so it has confirmed the presence of arsenic in rice wheat and potato so these are the three uh, food crops where arsenic pollution has been confirmed uh, then i have uh, arsenic pollution uh, the countries which have one of the highest in the ground water arsenic pollution takes place in the ground water that is usa india china and mexico and the states are assam bihar west bengal punjab and you what is the problem why am i concerned about arsenic pollution because it is a type of carcinogen what is a carcinogen cancer causing carcinogen is cancer causing all right uh, it is a uh, gray silver or white in color it is extremely poisonous to the humans it does not have a taste or odor uh, while arsenic is naturally occurring it also comes in inorganic or man made formulas so arsenic pollution can be from natural plus anthropogenic activities the sources of pollution are the source of pollution are that the arsenic pollution tends to occur most of often in the areas of industrialization now here again mine discharge and fly ash so thermal power plant again become important source of arsenic pollution leading to arsenic in ground water it is associated with copper iron and silver ores so here mining thermal power plant industry fossil fuel burning then the next next is fossil fuel burning so petrochemicals and also in the fertilizer arsenic is also found in the fertilizers so the agricultural runoff is also responsible for arsenic contamination of water bodies now what do i understand by arsenic poisoning what do i understand by arsenic poisoning arsenic poisoning is consumption of such arsenic polluted water leads to accumulation of arsenic in the body parts such as blood nails hairs etc causing rough skin dry and thickening of skin and ultimately skin cancer so which is the most concern when i say that arsenic is carcinogenic because it can cause skin cancer apart from that it can cause black foot disease it is, uh, it can cause black foot disease which affects the lower limbs uh, which affects the lower limbs and eventually into progressive gangrene do we know that you need to amputate it can lead to amputation gangrene basically if you have seen somebody uh, in gangrene their limbs turn blackish so we notice here sometimes especially mine workers etc their entire foot or limb turns blackish and eventually the limb has to be amputated or cut off so that is also due to arsenic then using arsenic 
that is arsenate or arsenide uh, contaminated water for agriculture can lead to concentration of arsenic in fruits and grains can i call it biomagnification bioaccumulation so use of arsenic in agricultural water uh, leads to bioaccumulation chronic ar arsenic poisoning can lead to melanosis or keratosis another disease which is dark spots on the upper chest back and arms and in which the palms become hard and the long term exposure can lead to loss of appetite weight diarrhea gastrointestinal disturbances and eventually skin cancer eventually skin cancer now coming to the solution what can i do for arsenic poisoning so arsenic can be removed from the contaminated soil with the help of a bacteria which is bacillus flexus and acino uh, acinetobacter junior so i can use i can use microbes do i need to remember these names no you don't need to remember these names just remember that uh, bio remediation of arsenic is possible by the use of microorganisms especially bacteria right uh the bacteria flexus bacillus flexus exhibits resistance to arsenic and junai to arsenic so uh, both for uh, what what do i need to learn from this that both the arsenate as well as arsenide can be removed with the use of bacteria both of them have a special gene which leads to detoxification apart from that bleaching powder and alum are also used for removal of arsenic are also used for removal of arsenic do we get an idea now in the next two months in the next two months if you get any particular report let's say this is about arsenic poisoning uh, if there is a report on lead poisoning how will you proceed with that how will you proceed with that first find the tell me how will you proceed if there is a report what are the sources of lead poisoning what are the areas affected what are the diseases and last is how to remedy right if i know these four things for any kind of uh, you know pollutant then no question can come beyond it again do i need to know these names no i just need to have an idea that all the different types of poisoning can be removed by bacteria or microorganisms through bioremediation method